It's half four on a Friday afternoon. I've just finished work for the week and now it's time to get ready to race. I haven't vlogged a race before because I've only done one race since I started my YouTube channel, but I thought I'd vlog today. For dinner I had some pasta, which is the perfect pre-race food. Then I had to get my bike ready, so I started by oiling the train. I already had my number because I'd raced the previous round and you keep the number for the whole series. I'm not sure what happened here, but I got covered in tyre sealant. I just got a face full of tyre sealant, which was not good. The last job was pumping up the tyres. I've got my bag, face mask, phone, waterproof and long sleeve top, leg warmers, shorts and top that I'm going to put on now, gloves, food, pump, a saddle bag because then I can just take anything I need from there, tyre levers and multi-tool, puncture plug, inner tube, CO2, Garmin, helmet, and shoes. And then it was time to go. We left about half five in the end for a 7.15 start. It got darker and darker and started raining as we got closer to the race, which is why I didn't film any of the warm up. I prefer photos of races rather than videos. So my dad mainly takes photos. This was the start. This was on the first lap towards the finish line. There was one part that was very bumpy. There was this one section with a strip of concrete, which was good because I could close the gaps to any riders in front while they had a drink. This is just before the finish line on the final lap. On the way we had seen a scarecrow or yarn bomb kind of festival. So on the way back, we decided to stop and have a look at some of the features. It is quarter to ten, we've just got back because we stopped to look at some of the scarecrows and also then we got stuck in traffic on the motorway. My race went very well. I got a good start and then managed to carry on with that and catch the rider in front of me. And then we don't know how many riders were in front of her. So I may have won, I may not because the, I passed one more person before the finish who unfortunately got a mechanical in the last half a lap. So we'll wait and see for the results. And then I had some cake to celebrate. This is strawberry marble cake. The results are in and I did in fact win, which I'm really, really happy about. So I thought I'd do a quick race review. I started on the front row and got a really good start. And then it kind of settled down with what would have been two riders in front of two ladies in front of me and a couple of the youth because we start with the youth. I stayed with one rider still in sight so I chased them down and probably maybe just before the end of the first lap I caught them or it might have been the second lap, I can't quite remember. And then I kept pedalling, pushing hard uh, and overtook some of the vet riders and then I think I did four laps in the end and on the penultimate lap I caught up with one of the youth riders that I had started behind so that was really positive because it meant I knew I was either getting faster or they were getting slower but it meant that I was still chasing hard and then I'm not sure how far behind the leader I was but on the last lap she unfortunately got a mechanical so I managed to overtake her Without the lap timings of her, I reckon I was about 
30 seconds down with one lap to go and was chasing pretty hard because my dad was telling me she wasn't far in front of me. So I might have caught her anyway, but it's just an unfortunate and badly tired mechanical. Apparently a pedal fell off. But yeah, I'm really happy with how I rode. I think this was my second race back and in the first race, I think I could tell I hadn't been on the mountain bike for a while because it was just after I'd done my cycling to every place in Leicestershire and some of my cornering was a bit rusty. Whereas this time I managed to focus really hard on staying with my head, hips and hands to make it flow really nicely and it worked. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know if you want to see any more race day vlogs.